may be asking yourself, what is this video clip that James has shown you at the very beginning? Well, it's a very blurry blue clip of a simulation. Simulation or simulation? Simulation of a dam collapsing. And this would be when it would just break at the top. And this is sort of like, when I looked at this quite closely, now I know it's not very, very clear, to be really honest with you. When I looked at this very closely, this was quite, resembled quite a bit about the Free Gorges, if it did. Now, you may remember this video that was shown, I think, in 2020. Let me just remind you by playing a clip of it, first of all. Dam and covers the city center of Yicheng. The height of the flood is 20 meters and the speed is 70 kilometers per hour. Five hours later, Yicheng's water level is 10 meters and the city is completely submerged. Later, the water flowed to the large and the small cities around the Yangtze River with water speed of 60 kilometers per hour. The waves are 15 to 20 meters high. The flood is going to a wide spread of plains. From this point, the area of damage increases as the flood spread in the sector from everywhere. The dispersing flood speed is reduced to 25 km per hour and the height is reduced to 8 meters. However, the mainstream of the Yangtze River still maintains a speed of 35 km per hour. The floods hit Jingzhou and directly go to Wuhan. It's 350 kilometers from Three Gorges Dam to Yueyang, and it takes 5 hours to get here. When the mountain range is filled with the water, the peaks turn into islands. Dungting Lake is right next to Yueyang. In the dry season, it would act as a buffalo, but not now. The city of Yueyang is submerged by a depth of 5 meters of water. Largely spread flooding continues eastward, it will pass the Tonghu Lake with the storage capacity of 16 billion cubic meters. It takes about... If I remember to do, I will put a link in the description below of the full video. It just gives when the Free Gorges Dam breaks a simulation of it and it goes all the way down the Yangtze River expanding. Some mountains just become the new landmark, so to speak. It gets to Wuhan three hours later, 340 kilometers away, and it sort of eventually finishes in Nanjing, just outside, well, maybe like an hour and a half by train or by car, not too sure which one actually, um, outside Shanghai. But I did find this one the other day, and I felt, wow. And I have put this in a compilation that you can see a little bit later today, I do believe. Surprise, surprise, the link is in the description. It's not available yet at the time of broadcast, and today is Wednesday the 4th of May, 2022. It will be released on Thursday, midnight, my time, on the 5th of May, just to confuse you. I'm totally confused already now. But this is a continuation of if the levels continue to rise or if something devastating happened to the dam, here is a more modern image of what may happen and a bit more graphic than you can see from the simulation that we had a couple of years ago. It looks like this. apologize that the image is not crystal clear and we usually nowadays expect 4k kind of things I try my best and usually I do this in 1080 this is the site the quality that we're talking about then I searched a bit deeper and maybe I was sort of a lucky day with searching in one way and I found this another simulation of another kind of flood of what may happen now I have slowed this down because the original is only about 
um, 15 seconds long. And again, you can see the full video at midnight tonight, my time. What happens here is, let me press the play button. This is, let's say the dam broke on this river and you can see that how it sort of expands and expands and expands on the lower plan or, or the lower planes of the actual area where you could say people would be. And this is sort of really scary and it won't basically stop until it runs out of steam or it just hits the sea may causing you could even say a outward tsunami don't know with that one no expert but it, it's kind of like shocking now below the free gorges dam just as a reminder there are 400 million people 400 million people if it did collapse three hours three and a half hours to wuhan can you evacuate a city of 11 million in that time or get them to higher ground would the authorities do so? We don't know, don't know, don't know. So let's have a look on the brighter side Woo! and let's have a look at the levels and then we'll go into the weather for you. Okie dokie, so the levels for today, Wednesday the 4th of May 2022, Kutan, 170.91, that's gone up, that's 650 kilometers away round about 400 and something miles away from the actual dam itself. On the reservoir, the levels have stayed the same of a 24 hour period and it's 169.48. There's no inflow there, but the outflow has shot up to 13,700. Yesterday it was at 10,300. So, it means water is pouring out of it faster, which is good news. But will that good news stay? We'll find out after the break, and we'll find out after or after the break with the weather. That was a terrible link, but hey, let's do it anyhow. And welcome back. Here is the weather for you. And eventually the hand will be by the Three Gorges. This is the map of most of China, not the complete part of it. So hand by free gorge dam. So for the beginning of the next couple of days, it, nothing much happening. It is dry. So you would see the levels, you hopefully see the levels go down. And if they open the sluice gates, they, they should go down faster. No webcam at the moment. I did check all four of them. And, but we do get to towards, what dates are we on? Sunday? Sunday, Monday, even Tuesday of next week, this is a 10 day forecast that there will be 14 millimeters of rain by the free gorges. And I think you can see it coming up about now. There we go. Over the last couple of days or so, in fact, a week, I've been doing these reports related to what's happening in Beijing, what's happening in Shanghai related to the lockdown, the COVID situation and managed to capture some video images allowed to use from Twitter basically and put them as a compilation and explaining what's going on. And I also put some in here. So for the next moment or two, well, there's nothing else about the Free Gorges Dam to be honest with you at all. But you would think when you have a situation like this, what is the leader of the country doing? Well, 17 hours ago, according to some people, today is the national day of young people something like that i don't really know and xi jinping has gone to a university far away from the whole situation and we haven't seen much of him actually talking or um, encouraging his citizens he's just doing some propaganda because it's the election year so this is a state-controlled visit to a university you can see that most of the people are nationalists and if you look really carefully you can see the bodyguards around to make sure everyone's behaving themselves here's just a small clip of what good old winnie the pooh is doing to help the covid situation nothing just smiling pretending it doesn't happen winnie winnie <laughs> Thank you. 
Now the next clip I want to show you is from a boy dormitory, don't get wide, a male dormitory in Guangdong. Guangdong is very close to Hong Kong. I could imagine this is in Guangzhou. When I watched it first, I got worried and said, oh my God, is Guangzhou on lockdown? But no, this is the boys singing a song. I think it's a Beyonce song, believe it or not, at the end of last month related to the um, encouraging strength for the people who are in Shanghai with very, very little food. The song is actually quite nice. So I apologize for the quality. I just sort of like copied it off Twitter, but it looks like this. <laughs> Chinese state media doing to show that everything is all okay and we're looking after the citizens. They are doing propaganda in a professional form by using really nice expensive cameras and showing that food delivery is going on everywhere. Just look at this, it's just sort of like oh, frustrating that you can actually see them making the propaganda when this is just a big, big porky pie lie. Further away from China, here, Cambodia, it was actually quite a nice day today, or it has been quite a nice day, a balmy 25 degrees. And as I had a bit of time, Sophie and myself decided just to go into town, mainly to get some pictures done, or get some pictures developed in a Fuji film kind of place. And then we went for a little bit of lunch and we sort of took the video camera with us. Here's a small snippet of it, but you can find it on my other channel, the full 10 minute version, if you are interested. And if you do want to see more of Siam Rip, Cambodia, very close to Angkor Wat in Southeast Asia. Here's a little 4K clip for you. Behind me is the Photoshop, the old fashioned one. You can actually buy rolls of film here, believe it or not. Why the hell am I wearing a mask outside? You don't need to wear a mask outside anymore. The mask restrictions have been lifted. Woohoo! That's good. So, just getting some photos of Tokyo being developed here. And if you just look down there, this is the main street of Siam Rip here. It's just one very, very long road. And it's slowly, slowly, very, very slowly opening. You can see from there. And what we're going to do is just go down that, that road there, turn left there, and go and get a spot of breakfast. The time, excuse me, is round about 10.40, so we have a brunchy kind of breakfast. But there we go. This is Siam Rip after the, uh, after the, you don't have to wear a mask outside anymore. You don't have to, people still are, but I think it's just, you can find that a lot of people in Asia, they just tend to wear the mask and it's not a real big deal. But it's so nice actually to be outside and there we go. So this is Siam Rip. This is the photograph shop here, or the photography shop. This is darling little Sophie coming in. And there used to be a really nice restaurant. I think it's closed now. They used to have a really old Citron outside that. Yeah, but it is like a beautiful little place here. So time to rebuild. Now that there's only two cases a day. Two cases yesterday. Not bad, huh? All right, time for lunch. Time for happy. Time for happy. You're always happy. Time for lunch. Yeah. yeah. All right. Bye. Making videos, you do get bloopers or make bloopers quite often, and occasionally I do share them and do show them to you. So for the next minute or so, here are some bloopers that I made on the production of this particular video today. Okay, it's been a long day, sort of, and we're just going to do the recording now. Get the setup, the bits and pieces, so everything's all hunky dory. Let's hope that that works. 
Now, you may be asking yourself, what is this blurry image of this free gorgeous, I will do this again. As always, thank you so much for your time. Time for the groveling part of the show. For those people who reached here, the like, subscribe, share, if you hadn't done so already. A welcome to all the new subscribers. A welcome to all the members. A big welcome to the patron subscribers, etc., etc., etc. That I really, truly, honestly do appreciate it. If you want to help, all you need to do is click that like and click that subscribe. Hit all on the notification button, the big bell. Resubscribe if you haven't done or it's just not there anymore for some unknown reason. And that will be absolutely divine. My name is James. This is the James Neil Cooper channel. God bless everyone who's watched this to the very end. God bless everyone regardless. Give a moment of your time for a prayer for the people who may be suffering, but they're suffering not because of themselves, it's because of very bad leadership. <coughs> she Winnie the Pooh. Um, thank you. Have a epic day wherever you are. Bye-bye for now. <coughs> Winnie the Pooh.